Uh, my name's Nick. I'm Alyssa. I'm Sarah. I'm Evelyn. I'm Connor. Um, all right, here we go. Um, so, Wedgwood, redeveloping, redefining, reinvesting your home, your future. We kind of wanted to throw this tagline in because we wanted to show how it relates to the culture and values of Wedgwood that it gives to consumers, um, but also to your employees. Um, so, a quote can say a ton, but we wanted to visualize it for you guys and for the consumers and employees. So, introducing Mr. Wedgwood. He's uh, 24. He's positive, self-reliant, effective, has a can-do attitude. He's passionate. He knows what he wants in life. Um, but we also wanted to dive in deeper. So this is uh, 24. This is Catherine. This is uh, his uh, girlfriend of three years. Um, you know, he wanted to really find a job that, that he was excited to get up every morning and um, was fun. It was a fun environment and uh, could provide him stability and um, you know, just get uh, really excited. So, where are we going to put him in the mix of all this? On our Facebook page. Um, this is where it's going to allow employers and consumers to really get a feel for Wedgwood and um, the aesthetics. So, first off, in the business, we'll have that Wedgwood's business, and uh, it's where you can connect um, with you. And we've lived the American dream for 30 years. It helped us dream bigger, find job opportunities, and a fun company culture here. So you'll be able to click that link and it'll take you over to the website where um, people can find job listings and a little bit more about what Wedgwood does. Um, so diving in now, it's going to be linked to your Instagram account, your LinkedIn account, and Humans of Wedgwood, which Evelyn will touch upon later. And uh, so will all of these. Um, so for the photos, like what actually is the content of your Facebook going to have? It's going to have uh, your profile pictures, Mr. Wedgwood, of course. Uh, the recent sales of the homes, um, your Instagram photos will all be linked there just by the click of a button. It can spread out to all your accounts. The description will follow. Um, the lifestyle of the company, you guys can upload your company events, company parties here, so when employers come to search here, they can really you know, just get visual, visualizations of what it's about. Um, so the marketing strategies, your fans is what's going to drive your engagement and um, your likes. Your likes is going to make it pop up more on their feed, um, and it's going to make and through Facebook analytics, if you pay for it, the insights it'll see who's clicking on your likes, who's sharing, who's talking about it, who's viewing your page, um, just like a lot of the other sites everyone talked about. Um, and if you do a paid ad for Facebook. Uh, along with keywords and tags, it can show up on there. It'll be a sponsored on the right side and it'll be Wedgwood. Um, click here for more information, uh, job opportunities, if you pay for that feature. And Evelyn's gonna talk about the content features. Okay, thank you. Um, so what exactly is the content that you wanna put on Facebook to draw people to come look at your profile? Um, so one of the things, of course, is upcoming events. Um, if you're holding a big event that people can come to, that's a great one to do by making a Facebook event and inviting people there. Also, success stories, touching on people who have bought homes and who have really, really loved them. If it was their first job and they were also able to learn so much and grow so much from that, really personalizing that. Facebook is a great platform to be able to connect that personal one-on-one, -on -one, which is also why we decided to personalize Wedgwood into Mr. Wedgwood to create that personal one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one relationship, which if we touched on in the brief that you guys said in real estate, it's really hard to connect that in this way you can. Um, we've also included an option to um, push vocab and term of the week, similar to what um, the website team had. Um, it's a, it's kind of an industry that not everyone is familiar with, and it's good to like be including consumers and people who are interested to what exactly is in the industry. Of course, our job posting announcements, because that's the main reason why we want to have our Facebook group and company news, such as property purchases, employee of the month, company anniversary. And here is where you would find <coughs> Humans of Wedgwood. So what exactly is Humans of Wedgwood? Well, it is based off of the idea of Humans of New York. And if you're not familiar with Humans of New York, it was started by a photographer called Brandon Stanton. Um, and he was a photographer in, based in New York. And basically, he took his camera, walked around the city, and took 10,000 photos of New York City uh, people on the streets. 
And during this time, this process, he started to talk to the people he was taking photos with. And he started to get stories, he got quotes, and he decided to pair snippets of these um, with the photo of the individuals that he'd meet, and he posted them on a blog. And this blog actually ended up creating um, a huge, just like, fan base, and he has right now over 8 million followers on social media, and a number one best-selling book. Um, so you'd be surprised, this is an example post of what it looks like for Humans of New York. This single post has over 100,000 likes, and it's just a really great way to connect people. So reflecting on the success of Humans of New York, it really gives us a human insight that people are really drawn to being able to see and understand the human in other people, whether if they know them or not. Um, people posted on Humans of New York are daily, everyday people, and that is really what social networking is about. It's not just like understanding what people are doing within your friends' network, it's really just like what the world is doing. Uh, right now, social media is such a great platform for people in our generation, is where we get our news. People will share news articles, and that's how we draw and connect with the world. And it's really reflective of how successful Humans of New York can be. So we've kind of envisioned Wedgwood taking this idea and making their own humans of Wedgwood and being able to create a transparent platform of showing what your company culture is like and also a great way to build your company culture within yourselves and really get to know each other. Um, of course, humans of Wedgwood um, would be really similar to humans of New York, so during the search it would come up and ideally that that's kind of the point because Humans of New York is so popular, people would stumble across Wedgwood and that would pull interest, it would pull curiosity, and of course pull perspective and abilities. And so Humans of New York uh, was successful on Facebook and also created an Instagram account and it's very similar. The only difference is that the content is a little shorter because of the platform. It's not as long as Facebook is and Connor's going to go more into what exactly Instagram has for us. <laughs> okay, so Wedgwood is now on Instagram, and as you can see, um, one specific example of how you can utilize um, Instagram for Wedgwood is the Humans of New York. Um, but more in general, we, we want to highlight Wedgwood culture. So, as, as you can see here, this is a picture that, um, just an example of maybe something that you would want to post to show your culture of um, how you guys like to have, or how you have like a sense of humor and like to have fun, but also are willing to roll up your sleeves and run with the ball and get dirty. Um, that's just one example. Another one would be uh, to post pictures of company events, like a barbecue. Um, right here, this is the annual company barbecue. I don't know if you guys have that, but <laughs> <laughs> um, you can post something like that. Or bowl, you talk about bowling, or bocce ball, or costume days, um, to show kind of the more fun um, aspect of your company. And hashtag here is play hard, work harder. Um, so more of the businessy posts you guys can um, use to uh, help your business grow in general. Um, obviously, down here the the events, games, and parties, but also um, you can post before and after photos um, of the of your homes. So when you first bought them, um, built them up, and then the after photo, um, and then you could also put geotags, which basically pinpoints the exact location of the home. So if you guys want to incorporate that, you can have that. Um, on the photo so people know the exact location. Um, you could also, Instagram allows you to put 15 second videos. And so you can even, um, if you're trying to sell a house, you can go around and put a little short virtual tour video um, of, of your house that you're selling. Um, also, once, a, uh, once um, you find people that buy your homes and they found the one, the home they've been looking for, um, you can post a picture of them in front of a house, um, for example, and just give them a little like short testimony um, of them finding their new home. Um, some more of the culture. Um, you want to keep updated with the uh, Instagram trends. So um, a couple of them are motivational Mondays. You could put some inspiring quotes or some inspiring stories. Um, throwback Thursday, obviously. You could one example is that you could just throw back to when you guys first started um, 30 years ago in a garage. Hashtag worth it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, um, another one is Follow Friday, so you can follow somebody every Friday um, just to show who you guys associate yourselves with and who people um, can asso I guess associate <laughs> with, with other companies. Um, thank God it's Friday, <coughs> get a little glimpse of the future or Flashback Friday. 
Um, so Instagram is also perfect to, again, show um, events, but one specific one would be charity work. Um, a lot of people obviously like companies um, that are involved themselves in some kind of corporate social responsibility or charity work. That would be a good one. Um, also, the Redondo Beach lifestyle and the area that surrounds your company. Um, so you can show, obviously, the beach or Kings Harbor or just everything that's going around um, Redondo Beach. And then also, of course, the employee benefits, which all of your employees um, would want to have. So I know you guys talked about um, how you guys have vacation homes that you allow your, your employees to go to. That could be one of the posts, have an employee um, at one of the homes, um, take a picture and post it. And then lastly, obviously the hashtags, um, a couple that we created, obviously, hashtag Wedgwood, um, and then also living on the wedge, hashtag wedge life, and hashtag uh, play hard, work harder. And so now Terry's going to talk about LinkedIn. Okay, so LinkedIn is basically, excuse me, it's the business world stack. Um, it's the business world Facebook. And so um, this is kind of an example of a company page. You'll have your name, the logo, which is your kind of profile picture. Um, and then you have images to like make it more like Wedgwood. Um, you're going to have a short com um, professional bio so that when people are looking at Wedgwood, this will come up to the top because it's LinkedIn. Um, and you'll see, oh, this is Wedgwood, the professional side. Um, you can 